Hey everyone, it's Kanga here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at this skin, Deimos, which is the May Crew Pack skin for Fortnite. I'll also be taking a quick look at its other items like the Sorrow's Edge and the Sorrow's Reach, the rest of the items that you got this month. But the main thing I'll be focusing on is the skin itself. You do also get this character in Save the World and a copy of Save the World, so if you didn't already have that and you get the Crew Pack this month, you will get those things as well. But again, I will be focusing on the skin for the most part in this video. Now, as per usual, this video will split up into a few different parts. First off, I'll just be taking a look at the different items and the different styles in the locker. As you can see here, this skin is going to have three different styles, so I'll be showing you gameplay of all three of those different styles. You've got the default style, you've got the green style, and you've got the glowing style as well. All of them look very, very cool. So yeah, there'll be timestamps on the bottom of the video showing you just different parts of the things. There'll be So there'll be a time for the video in when I'm in the locker, time for the red set, time for the green set, and time for the glow set or the glow style. I guess I should be saying. You can see the back bling is also going to have those same styles there. And then if I come to the harvesting tool here as well, the Sorrow's Ridge, I imagine it'll also have... Oh, this one's actually got even six different styles technically, because this one here, I believe... Actually, no, I think that's just a literally a smaller version of it. Obviously, I'll test that in a second here. But originally, I thought it might have been this one was dual hand, or like, like two-handed in the sense that you have one in each hand. And then this one is just, just one of them. But what it could be is that this one's a two-handed harvesting tool and this one's just one-handed more like the Mjolnir animation which we're used to. And again this is still gonna have the green and glow styles and I'll show you each of those edit styles with the skin when I get to it. Unfortunately the wrap only has one style, you can't make it green or glowing and it's called the Doomed Echo Wrap. But I'll hop into a game now with this skin and let's see how it looks. Alright, so hopping in game now, you can see this is what the skin is going to look like. I'm already a massive fan of it. The harvesting tool for the first style is going to have this animation again, like I was saying before, just your standard two-handed swinging animation. The back bling does look a little bit big for him, although I do think having a massive sword does for the character as well. I will change the time of day in a second here, just once I'm done with this. You can see here, no real issues with aiming down the sides. It's a very, very clean skin in my opinion, probably my favourite crew back skin to date. I'll take the back one off now and also swap over to the other side for this harvesting tool and turn the lighting up a little bit. Alrighty, so I've now changed the back bling, I've gotten rid of the back bling and changed the side for the harvesting tool. I do think it does look a little bit better without the back bling. You can see you've got like this bandages all right around his back. I really like the look of that. And then you can see here I was right with the harvesting tool where it is going to change when you have the smaller one equipped. It's going to have that animation similar to Mjolnir where it swaps between your hands as you're swinging it. Definitely my favorite animation for pickaxes, and I do really like this pickaxe as well, given that. Yeah, I'm still a massive fan of this skin. Obviously, you get even less issues with aiming down sights now with no back bling on. And I'll swap over now to the green styles for everything. Alrighty, so now everything is set to the green style, except for the wrap. I literally don't even have any good green wraps, unfortunately. But we already saw what all that aiming down sights was like before. Little crosses in the back of his head, obviously, with the stitching. I feel like those are a bit more noticeable now. I'm not even sure if those were there before but definitely they pop a lot more when you've got the green style equipped. A lot of the little details stand out a lot more when you've got this green style equipped and obviously the blade is green now. And then the harvesting tool as well has the green accents where the red used to be before. Nothing changes with the animation. Everything looks pretty similar to me. Yeah, I do like the look of this green style. I think I prefer the red a bit more, but again, I'll swap the harvesting tool now and take the back bling off. Alrighty, no back bling again now and smaller pickaxe. I think it's going to be the same as the red here, I do prefer without the back bling, and I obviously definitely prefer the smaller harvesting tool with this animation. Not really too much to say here, I don't think. Let me know what you guys do think of this skin down below though, again as I mentioned before, definitely my favourite crew pack skin to date. And I think this crew pack as a whole is just really really good, not only is there save the world included in it now, but also if I'm not mistaken Epic's doing something where they're giving out something extra every Tuesday or Thursday, I remember some leak is mentioning that, so we'll have to see what that is down the line. Alrighty, we've now got the glowing style on, and in a second here I will change it to nighttime actually, so we can see how much it really does glow. In the daytime it doesn't look too bad, the only thing that I noticed is that some things don't really seem to glow, like his pants, the green belt, and the bullets I think they are, or whatever the spikes are in his right pocket. They don't seem to have the same glowing effect or texture as the rest of the outfit now has. Or I guess it's more just his arms and some of the parts on the back bling and harvesting tool that really get that glow. But I will change it to nighttime quickly, and we can see how much difference it does make when it's nighttime. I think I underestimated a little bit just how much darker it would actually get when it's nighttime. Not too much difference. I, I for some reason, I thought it was going to get a lot darker during nighttime. Maybe it's just because there's not too much around. I will. I guess I'll just quickly make a box and cut out some of the lighting, and that might help a little bit just to see how much this skin does glow. <laughs> so everything's built now, and it does look nice. 
with the glowing. I definitely prefer this over the green style, but I think I still might prefer the red style to this. Again, I will just swap the harvesting tool over now and get rid of the back bling as well. All right, so I've made those changes and it's gonna be the same as before. I'm not sure if this is an error in my creative or with the PX itself, but you can see it does have that red streak. And when it stops swinging, if you watch where like the handle is, where the hand is, the actual skeleton hand on the pickaxe that is, there does seem to be a bit of a red glow there, which I imagine is it like a bug from the red style. And that should be green on this side. I'm not too sure about that. Otherwise, so that's really all there is for this video. If you guys did find this video useful at all, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share. All those things help me out massively. If you want to support me as a creator, that's going to be code Kanga in the Fortnite item shop. Otherwise, though, that's it for me for now, and I will see you all next time. See ya.